Hi guys. So I thought I would do a bit of a stream slash upload type thing. So um, I've obviously been playing WoW Classic a lot and I thought I would do 10 tips that I've sort of learnt being a hunter sort of playing the game um, so far. So about four or five days in um, and it's going quite well. I'm level 16. To be honest, I could be like level 25 by now if I'd have put extra time in, but you know, I've just been, I've got other stuff to do, I guess. But um, I'm still enjoying the game. It's still good. I'm just going to turn the sound down, guys. So, okay, I wanted to bring you guys maybe 10 tips that we can use in Classic, okay? So, let's go to number 10. And I might mind set the countdown because I normally do. Um, buy yourself some minor healing potions, especially if you're a warrior, okay? Now, when you're fairly low level, a lot of these should drop automatically. But, gosh, they're really useful, okay? Um, as a Tauren, um, I've got my wonderful War Stomp, okay? So if an enemy tries to get me, I can just do my War Stomp and that'll kind of stun them and I can run away. Um, and if I need to, I can still use Minor Healing Potion. So, um, yeah, that's um, a really good tip to have. Um, let's go tip number eight. Are we going down or up? Oh, my God. Okay, um, no, tip number nine. Right, that'll do. Get yourself some good professions like first aid okay um these are going to be super useful um one of the problems with being a warrior or any class to be honest apart from healers is it's quite hard to heal someone and i'll give you an example the other day i came across a guy who was almost dead right now i knew that i could probably run into the battle and try to use mocking blow but instead i used um one of these heavy linen bandages on him right and it just allowed him to kind of finish the battle and um it was you know it was just a nice thing to do and otherwise he might have died you know so yeah get yourself some good bandages right let's see how many i can actually get i've actually done all the enemies around here i think but no oh heck um i guess i'm talking to you guys um professions right so i've already mentioned potions if you've gone herb you've probably already got all the profession all the um all the potions you need, right? And lovely people like me will come to the auction house and buy them. But, okay, my tip number eight is going to be about the auction house. Now, one of the things I've noticed about the auction house is on a lot of items there are a, there's a stupid amount of money that you need to pay to actually get an item in the auction house. So, for example, um, I've got a an extension which kind of basically scans the auction house so I can sell things more easily if I want to. I think that was called auctionary or something. Um, but yeah, you can basically look it up if you want something similar. Um, but yeah, honestly, I've been looking at a lot of items and if they sell for about three silver or four silver and it's they're going to vendor for about two silver, let's say, for example, and they want one silver for putting it on the auction house for 24 hours um and then you've got to seriously think is it worth it is it worth the risk on the one hand if you're feeling kind of benevolent then maybe someone will find some use for it but um generally speaking in that sort of scenario it might be worth having a go on the auction house if you want to but you just sell it to a vendor it's just easier it gets rid of the item and then you don't have to worry about it not selling and then losing a lot of that money that you've already invested. And remember, I think there's also a um, final valuation fee that they sort of charge on top of everything else. So um, you can make some really good auction hat, some really good auction money on the auction house. But um, yeah. So um, tip number seven. Now I probably shouldn't give you this tip because I use it quite a lot to make money in retail and to make money in classic so far but if you go to a location um, and you find uh, such as um, an inn or something right you'll probably find that um, sorry you'll probably find that they sell some kind of fishing recipe or some kind of other recipe which is really good um, and quite often you can buy it and it'll be level appropriate and you know it'd be great well if you want to make a bit of extra money obviously think about the price 
but you can purchase an extra one or two or three okay um now take them to the auction house and you can then basically sell the items for maybe 10 silver or something um in retail you can sell them for a lot more um i probably shouldn't tell you this because you know but i don't care okay the um in the um alliance capital right they you can basically go to the shop that sells um all the different recipes okay you can then buy the recipes, stick them on the auction house at massively inflated prices, and get yourself a bit of money coming in, okay? Now, this isn't... Now, one of the things I also do is don't flood the auction house with, like, ten of these or something. Um, I generally have a load of recipes in my bank, so I'll take a few recipes out of the bank, sell them on the auction house, um, and, you know, I'll get a nice bit of extra money. And I've actually got a few extra copper, but I ended up spending that on weapon skills. So, uh, oh my god, I'm, I've lost track, of, honestly, I have. Um, let's say number six, seven, six, oh god. Um, at number six, let's um, say, uh, yeah, difference with the auction house here is two hours, eight hours, 24 hours, okay? So you've got substantially less time to get your items on the auction house than you um you know would in vanilla okay so yeah you can stick it on for 24 hours i think it costs actually more than retail nowadays though i could be wrong it could just be because i don't have much money and you know it really kind of hurts you know when you put something on there but um yeah just bear that in mind so if the default is two hours okay guys so you can put something on for two hours but it's um I don't know, it's a bit pointless um, and again um, if you've only got two hours then you really need to put it on at the right time you know don't put it on at like one in the morning expecting something to sell because there's not going to be many players on at one in the morning it might be well, sometimes there's but um yeah just um, another thing to think about it so what can we do for number five I've got loads of stuff um, yeah keep your bags clear okay guys now this is really really difficult but here's a few little tips okay um if you've got a quest okay then um you may need to actually have a load of quest items in your bags um which can take up loads of space as you can see here my bags are absolutely brimming and to be honest i'm not even properly playing i'm just um mostly ah no 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 go away This is why I don't like a big light on. Because I can't see my health bar as easily. Oh gosh. I'm sorry guys. Anyway, what was I saying? Um Yeah, so one thing to do is don't take all your quests at once, okay? Um you can if you want to, but I kind of have mostly. But the problem is, um, like I say, bag space. So if you can take, for example, I don't know, three quests and then complete them, um, I mean, if you're in an area, then take all of the quests because, you know, some of them overlap. A lot of them do overlap, so it might be worth it. But just bear in mind, right, you need to finish these quests as quickly as possible um, and then free up the bag space by getting rid of these horrible, useless um, items, right? Um, so, yeah, um, I'm going to say that was tip number five or six. I, I, I've completely lost track, honestly, but... Okay, um, let's do tip number four, because I'm running out of ideas. Um, we could just end the video there, but no, no, no. What else can I say? Um, don't be a warrior. Honestly, um, one of the problems with warriors is a lot of people will level up so far with a warrior. And warriors are kind of great, right? They've actually got some of the highest damage potentials in the game, right, in vanilla. So, you know, they're kind of awesome potentially as DPS and obviously they are the main tanking class in the game, okay? Um, but they're also one of the hardest classes to level. Um, this is for a few reasons. For a start, you can only really kill one target at a time, okay? So um, I think this might change later on. I'm really, fingers crossed, hoping I can probably take on a few more. But, you know, <clears throat> it is a sort of one target type thing, right? Obviously, if you're tanking, you can sort of hold multiple targets, you know, um, generate a lot of aggro. But generally speaking, if you're just attacking and killing things, then yeah, it's mostly one target at a time. Um, also, warriors are unbelievably gear dependent, right? 
So if your gear is rubbish, it doesn't really matter if you level up because um, you um, because your gear is going to be rubbish and you're going to kind of suck. Now I've got this weapon here. And I got this weapon ages ago, right? And I really, really, really need an upgrade. So, um, I'm sort of... God, I'm not... I'm going to do it again. So, yeah, this is one of the great things about being a, um, druid with healing potions. The other thing you can do is run backwards, right? Now, when your back is towards the enemy, the enemy can slow you and it freaking sucks, right? Jeez, I'm embarrassed. Okay, um, right, coming back to uh, number... So, yeah, why you might not want to play a warrior. So what should you play? Well, maybe a druid. I've got a whole video about being a druid, and you can go and watch it if you want to. Druids are kind of awesome, and they're, they make pretty reasonable tanks, and they're pretty... They're probably really good at healing too in the end game, so it's definitely a role for druids. Mages, I love mages, honestly. The fact that they can take on, um, say, eight mobs at the same time um, is, is pretty sweet. But then again, you've got to think about, are you going to be okay sort of drinking every um, two minutes for 30 seconds? Because that's what you're going to have to do. Um, it's rogues. Rogues are quite fun. Um, they've got their poisons and things that they can craft. Um, and I haven't seen many rogues in this game actually, which is really surprising. I'm playing on a normal server. Okay, that's going to be tip number four. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, okay, tip number four is uh, what kind of server do you want to play on? Most of the servers are PvP, which is fine. I'm actually playing on a normal server, which um, is, is quite good. So the difference is on a normal server, basically if you want to be in PvP, which I currently am, you simply type slash PvP and then you're actually active in PvP. But if you don't want to be in PvP, just don't turn it on. There's um, no benefit to being in PvP other than the fact that um, the enemy will find you aggressive um, and they're able to attack you. But um, yeah, if, if you're someone who doesn't really want to be um, sort of attacked all the time or ganked, right, then you can just leave it off. Um, and I'll tell you the other thing about normal. Um, that's kind of awesome is um, kind of like goad people okay so you can kind of use the chicken um, the sort of chicken noise or you know you can kind of tease them a bit and you can actually wind them up so they attack you right um, and it just adds an extra bit of fun to the game you know um, I mean I was hearing about Roman soldiers a while ago and um, some of the um, young youngest men in the uh, Roman army would run up to the enemy and they would sort of chuck things at them and taunt them and kind of annoy them and confuse them so the enemy couldn't actually see um, what was going on, who was attacking who. Um, so yeah, um, you could kind of use that. Um, I'm going to say that's number four because I think, I don't know, oh my god, I'm not even giving track. Um, I love maths, I love numbers and things but oh Please don't kill me again. That would be embarrassing. It's already embarrassing, guy. Um, so what else have I learnt? Um, well, okay, let's go for number three. I, I might just give up on my numbers. I don't know. Number four. Oh, number three. Okay, um, travel really isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, I actually think travel's a lot worse if you're Alliance, right? Oh my goodness! This is the worst thing ever! Just died again! What's wrong with me? This isn't even a hard mob. Ah! Travel really isn't so bad as Horde because, um, so I think you've still got the Zeppelin, right? I think it still goes to Undercity. So, yeah, you basically can go um, everywhere you want, right? So, for example, if you um, start near Thunderbluff, which I kind of did, you know, near the Barrens or whatever, um, then you're um, immediately within range of Orc City, or Ijima, as I call it, um, 
and you know you're you're near well the trolls don't have a city but you can get the zeppelin over to the under city so very a free oh, someone's offering to res me um <laughs> oh, it's fine um i guess i'm just distracted anyway uh, but um yeah if you're alliance you have to actually go you know, this is really is quite scenic, I guess, around here. If you're um, Alliance, right, you need to do a massive run. Let's say you're a Night Elf, right? So you need to... Um, let's say you want to get to... Um, you're a Night Elf. You want to get to Ironforge because Ironforge is kind of... I don't know. In classic, Ironforge is kind of a capital of the Alliance, right? Um, it's not really Stormwind. It's more... Um, Ironforge. So, yeah, let's say you want to get to Ironforge. Where's the tram, anyway? Um, if you want to get between the two. Are you... Great, I'm going the long way around. Yeah, you need to basically run all through the um, Swamplands, um, all through um, Dust, Water... Um... Yeah, you need to um, run basically all through the sort of swarm plants, probably dying a whole bunch of time to get to um, where you want to be, basically. So, yeah, it's um, a lot more difficult as Alliance to get where you want to go. Um, whereas as um, Horde, it's much easier. Um, I actually think that the Alliance quests are better than the Horde quests so far. I'm far more familiar with the Alliance quests. So this is number two. I'm going to say it's number two. I don't care. I don't care. Whatever. Um, so yeah, we're number two. And we're saying that um, the quests are a lot more difficult if you're um, Horde than they are Alliance, right? Now, I don't mean like super mega difficult. Um, because, you know, if they're not, they're, you know, just kill like 15 dudes. There's a heck of a lot of that. You know, go kill 15 quill balls or whatever. Um, I've got a light down here and it's bugging me now. But there's a lot more of them that are just like, go kill 20 people here, go kill 30 people here, um, whatever. Um, whereas in um, the Alliance case, there's a lot more interesting quests, you know? Sort of like Lucy's dropped her bag in a giant mine of slime. So, ah, where am I going? So go and find Lucy's bag for her um, because that's really important. Um, because she doesn't want to, like, pfft, not have a bag, so... Um, yeah, that was an amazing quest. I love that quest. And then you've got to literally go and kill about a thousand slimes, right? Because the drop rate is insanely low in that quest. Um, oh, God, I can't do... Uh, it is true, and I'm not being sexist here. Men can't multitask. Ha! <laughs> it's just freaking true. Look at this. I've gotten lost, and there's not even... Ah, uh, how do I get back up? Oh, jeez, no. Okay, never mind. I'm, I only feign emotion, man. Nah, I do feel it. I do feel it. It's, it's awful. Um, okay, so what was I saying? Yeah, um, yeah so World of Warcraft is awesome. Okay, that's going to be number one, and I don't care about the numbering system anymore. Um, it's been really awesome so far. Um, I'm really enjoying it. It's not at all monotonous, actually. Like, you kind of remember it being kind of a bit boring or a bit monotonous, but this doesn't feel like in any way monotonous because it's sort of like every single time you level, right? Um, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I've played on um, a few servers that may not have been official servers, right, um, in the past. And the problem is you never know 100% if the server's going to stick around, right? Because... Um, Blizzard could choose to close it at any time. You never know what's going to happen with them. So, you know, the fact that you're playing on an official Blizzard server and also, you know, the fact that you can kind of level up to 60 and, you know, you're not going to be getting constant new updates. You know, it's not going to be level 17, over 80. Um, I mean, I know it is sort of going to come out in phases, but it's kind of like, it's awesome, man. I, I can't lie. Um, I'm kind of enjoying it, really. I, I am. And I'm also enjoying being Horde for a change. Now, please don't kill me, Mr. Hecklefang Hyena. Please don't kill me. 
Look, I've I've used all my nice abilities and everything. I think my armor's okay. Um so yeah, thank you very much for listening guys and really hope you enjoyed the video and I'm sorry it was completely just completely off the cuff. Haha, <laughs> that's a torrent joke. But um is it? Off the hoof? Yeah, that works. Um But yeah, um, hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'm also live streaming, so <clears throat> you can probably come watch a live stream if you want to, I guess. Um, I assume the live stream's working. I haven't really checked it, but I kind of have faith in technology, so that's going to be my downfall, I think. So uh, yeah, um, goodbye. I'm not going to do much editing in this video because I'm going to leave it really kind of rough and like jagged. Okay, so goodbye.